Hello, hello friends, it's Danny here, and I'm happy to be on the Scrappy Boy Stamps YouTube channel again. Today it is all about the cute girls, western girls. Oh my goodness, these are so fun and so cute. Um, I know I probably say it every month, but I think this is my favorite, but again, I probably say it every month. I love the cute girls, um, and these are just adorable. Howdy partner, let's wrangle up some fun. Um, dirt is cowboy glitter, saddle up. And the images are just so cute. They do have outline dies you can purchase to go with them. And then there is some pretty paper to go with it. I love the colors as usual. I love westerns. And what we're going to be working with today is the cow print stencil. This is super, super duper fun and very very versatile i'm going to set that to the side of course i have some examples to show that i've already created this one uses the tent shaped mini album die isn't she cute and i'm kind of obsessed with freckles so i don't know if you can see the freckles there but i love adding freckles and the little girl that i colored up today has freckles as well howdy partner just that on the inside and I just, that tent is so fun. I can think of a lot of different ways to use that. So super, super duper fun. Next up, I have Stay Sharp. I've used that cactus, the barrel, and that girl. I did go in, the die does not cut these little areas out. I went in with an X-Acto knife and cut those out just because I wanted it because it was on dark paper. If you had it on white paper or if it didn't bother you, you could leave it. It's handy to have that die. And then I did use that cow print stencil in the background. I thought that was fun. And then I have this one. Um, just uses the paper. But I did kind of give that circle there. Let's wrangle up some fun. I've always, I've always kind of wanted a cowboy hat and cowboy boots. And it's always been a toss up between a red hat and red boots or pink. So I gave her pink on that one. And I used the other part of the circle on the inside of that one. I thought that was super fun. And then I am really trying to make more shaker cards. So I do have a shaker card on this one. Giddy on up. Um, and I don't know if you can see, I found some shaker bits that were like matching colors and they had little flowers. I thought they were really pretty. So hopefully there will be more shakers to share in the very near future. And then probably my favoritest card yet. Um, Gideon Up uses this cute little girl. And I put her on a... Whoa! Okay. I need to add some extra glue to her. But I guess I probably... I've been playing with it a lot. But there, she, she wobbles and shakes. I will be adding some extra glue. But isn't that fun? I mean, I have to keep her away from my cat because my cat will come up and want to play with it. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe my cat got a little aggressive with her. So, these wobbles aren't that expensive. Um, but yeah, I just thought, again, I can't stop playing with it. All right. So today we are going to, like I said, use the cow print stencil. I'm going to go ahead and get that out so that we can use that. And we're going to make a tag. We're using the Stitched Romantic Tags die set. I don't know if you've seen these in the shop or used. Love, love, love them. I love that they already have the um, hole already punched in them. There's a wide range of sizes, which is awesome. Love it. And again, everything will be linked in the description box below. I'm going to bring in my little uh, sticky mat that I discovered that I really like. And let's see, I have things already ready to go here. Actually, I'm going to move her over on this side just in case I drop a brush or something. So I thought it would be fun to make a like multicolored fun cow tag print or cow print tag. And so I chose peacock feathers, kitsch flamingo, and squeezed lemonade. I just thought it would be fun to use some different colors than what you would normally think of with a cow print. Not the black and white, not the browns. So I am going to start with that squeezed lemonade at the, I think I'm going to kind of do like 
stripes like angles um ah i tell you it worked great the other day and now maybe i need to get my little uh magnetic mat board here maybe that was the difference i really will figure out the stenciling i'm determined thank you for bearing with me all right so i am going to put some magnets down and hopefully that solves that problem oh yes that was what it needed. Okay, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna add some yellow. I love yellow, it just makes me happy, bright and sunny. My favorite color is pink, but gotta share the love, right? All right, and then next I'm gonna bring in that Kitsch Flamingo. And I'm gonna put this where I've already been, and I'm gonna move this down a little bit. I'm just gonna do that right along here. make like another stripe. I just thought it would be fun because sometimes I get stuck in my head and I'm like, oh my goodness, it can only be black and white or it can only be brown. And I wanted to show that you can make it any color that you want it to be. So. That looks good. And then we're gonna move to our last color which is the peacock feathers. All right. Ooh. These look so pretty together. You can make it as dark or as light as you want. All right. So. My favorite part, the big reveal. How cute and pretty is that? Look at that. Love it so, so much. Just so pretty. I really like those colors. I might have to write that down so that I can remember and use them at another time. Um, Typically, I take, I cut out another piece of cardstock for the back of it to give it a little bit more stability. I forgot today, but you can do that or you can choose not to. And then here is my little Western girl that I already have colored up. Love the freckles. All right, and so I'm going to put her on the tag just like that. I'm gonna add some glue to her. All right, so she can go, I think, like right there. I'm going to kind of hold her down. All right, and then I did already stamp out the sentiment, Howdy Partner. And I want it to go beside her. And as you can see, that just doesn't work. Some people cut their stamps. I am not that bold and brave. So I'm just going to cut the words right there. And then we can put, if I can pick it up, and we can kind of have it be at angles there. So it'll say, howdy partner. And blue kind of slid around on me, but there we go. And then I'm gonna add this one. And I kind of want it to be angled just like that. And the tag is finished. A quick and easy project, but oh, so super cute. Um, then you could, like I said, you can back it with some colored cardstock or just white, just to give it a little bit more stability. You can add a ribbon or twine or a bow. I think before I photograph it, I might go in and add some sparkle to the hat and the boots and the little belt buckle, maybe add a couple of enamel dots. But there is our quick and easy, but oh so cute tag for today. Um, everything is linked in the description box below. Be sure to head on over to the Scrappy Boy Stamps shop and pick up your own cute girls, Western girls collection. Super adorable and so fun. Uh, make sure you come to the Facebook group, tons of inspiration there. 
And until my next video, go do something for yourself and go get crafty. Bye.